Hello everybody, welcome back to a NAR video and in this video I'm going to show you how to disable creeper explosions in Minecraft for Minecraft version 1.21, 1.5 and higher. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one in the future. And so specifically what this tutorial will accomplish is that creepers can still spawn in your world but if they come sneaking up on you and they happen to blow up they actually just don't do any damage to you or to the environment or in case you want to make the creepers a lot more destructive that is also possible with a slight variation on this tutorial i'll also show you in this video but let's get started with how to do this and it's by using a specific command so the first thing you'll be doing is giving yourself a command block you can get it through the creative inventory in the operator utilities tab over here or you can just give it yourself like this slash give at p command block like this if you have cheat enabled in your world it will give you a command block you can place it down and then get into the ui so in here we're first going to set it to a repeat command block on the bottom left and on the bottom right we'll set it to always active now we have to type in the command it'll be a data merge entity like this then at e square brackets type equals creeper then we'll add a limit of one sort equals random just like this and then close your square brackets and it should turn blue that means you've all typed it in correctly now after this what you will type in are some curly brackets like these make sure they are the curly brackets and they turn up yellow here if they are the correct brackets and in here you type in explosion radius colon 0b just like this and so the default value for the explosion radius of a creeper is 3. Here we set it to 0 to turn off the explosions. You can also set it to a value of, for example, 10 to make creepers more destructive if you would want to do so. But for now, let's set it to 0 and then press done. And then now if we spawn in a creeper, you will see that it says modified entity data of creeper. And we'll also do that for the other creepers in our world. And if we grab a flint and steel, we can see that if we ignite this creeper, it doesn't blow up. And we can do the same thing with any creeper we spawn in here. As you can see, they all don't do any damage to the environment and also not to the player you can see that if we go into survival mode and we summon in a creeper it doesn't do any damage to us at all now as i said if we increase this value to for example 10 this makes creepers more destructive so let's fly down here and place down a creeper and explode it and you will see that it makes a huge crater a lot bigger than normal and we can make this bigger as well, set it to 100. And now if we explode a creeper, you will see that it does a whole bunch of damage here to the environment and also to the player if they were in survival mode. Now currently, if we move away too far from the command block, like this for example, by using a TP command, you will see that if we place down a creeper and explode it, it will still do damage to the environment and to the player. To fix this, what we can do is go over to the command block and stand on top of it and look down and type in the following command that is force load add and then we'll add the coordinates as they appear here these are the coordinates of the chunk this command block is in you can see the chunk borders with f3 and g so make sure that that chunk over here that has the command block is force loaded and we set this back to an explosion radius of zero just like this then if we teleport very far away again yes i did mess up a little bit there now we've placed on a creeper over here and explode it you will see that it no longer does any damage to the environment here as well but it is also not very consistent yet as you can see right there luckily i do have a fix for that to make it a little more stable what you can do is alter this command to make it a bit longer and that is by typing in execute at and then either your name or in this case we'll just do at p run and then instead of having this set to random creeper make it set to the nearest creeper so change sort to nearest this means it's always the nearest creeper to you will have this zero explosion radius so after we've done this and now we teleport back over here you'll now see that this is a lot more stable and we can just place on the creeper and it will always have this small explosion radius as you can see since this is always the closest creeper to us there's no longer a chance that it still explodes like we saw before but the command is slightly longer now, of course, I will leave all the commands I show you in this video in the description down below so you can try them out for yourself and just copy them over without having to type them in yourself. So this one will also be there in the description of this video. Now, still, you might have noticed that it says this modified entity data of creeper in the chat. If you want to get rid of that, that is also possible. And that is by using slash game rule, command block output and set that to false. So if you do that, then you can summon in a creeper. You don't get a text but it still doesn't explode. And the same thing works also for creepers far away from the command block. 
So there we go, that is pretty much it. That's how to remove creeper explosions in Minecraft. This tutorial works for Minecraft Java Edition versions 1.21.5 and above. And if you do have any more questions about this tutorial, then please leave them in the comments down below. But anyway, there we go. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, then please subscribe.